Hey, what's up guys? There's a plane. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Tangled Up in Books. My name is Jerry, and today's video is going to be on my anticipated books for 2018. So let's get started. So the order of this list is going to be by publication dates. So they are in order of when they will be coming out this year in 2018. So the first book is Surprise Me by Sophie Kinsella. I will put the cover right here. Surprise Me by Sophie Kinsella comes out on, on February 13th and it is a standalone novel. This story is about a couple named Sylvie and Dan. So basically they have been together for like 10 years and they go to a doctor's appointment where the doctor tells them that, you know, they're going to, they're really healthy and they sh will probably live together for another 68 years. So this freaks them out a little bit and they're like, oh my God, we are going to be together for an, at least another 68 years together. So they decide um, to keep to help keep the marriage, you know, like, um, to keep the marriage, you know, still alive and, you know, with a spark and, like, not get boring. They decide that they should, um, make surprises for each other to keep the marriage exciting. But the thing that happens is that while they're doing this, they think that they know, like, everything there is to know about each other. So secrets start to come out and it starts to shake up their marriage. So Sophie Kinsella is my favorite author. She's amazing. Anytime she comes out with a new book, I have to get it. The day it comes out, I'm always so excited. Like I'm always like, waiting for her new books to come out because they're just amazing. They always make me go through all the emotions. Um, they usually, especially laughing. Her writing style is so hilarious. Um, you'll be laughing out loud reading her books. I really recommend her books. They're just like great. So yeah, that's the first book I'm looking forward to come out this year. So again, that is Surprise Me by Sophie Kinsella that comes out February 13th. The next book on my list is Reflection by, by Elizabeth Lim. This is the fourth book in the Twisted Tales series and this book is coming out on march 27th so basically if you don't know um the twisted tale series is um they are um published by disney books disney press and basically um the twisted tales they take like the stories that we know like from the movies and change the main plot so like it com becomes something completely different. So the so the first book is A Whole New World where the plot twist was what if Aladdin never got the lamp. The second book is Once Upon a Dream, what if Aurora never woke up. And the, and the third book is As Old as Time, what if, what if Belle's mother cursed the beast. I have read the first two books in the series and the third book I haven't read yet, but I haven't hold full up from the library, so I should have that soon. I should read it soon, so I'm excited for that. But we are here to discuss my anticipated books of 2018. And Reflection is, can you guess? It is, um, it is focusing on Mulan. And the twist is, what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? So basically, the part of the story is that um, while they are in battle with, um, what the hell was his name? While they are in battle with Shang Yu, Shang gets hurt really badly and Mulan ends up having to travel to the underworld to save him. But while this is happening, Mulan is still undercover as ping so it sounds really interesting i've enjoyed the um a whole new world and once upon a dream um from this series and it sounds so interesting and i'm so excited to read this book because it's that's a good that's a good twist so that's the second book on my list also there will not be a cameo from hades because i thought i was like oh underworld hades but it's um, the rule of the underworld is somebody else in this book. So there's that. Side note. I have reviews up for A Whole New World 
and once upon a dream so i will link those downstairs or you could just go to my blog wait what 26 2016.com i'll put that right here so yeah so the next book on my list what was that so the next book on my list but three is allied by amy tintera this is the third and final book in the ruined trilogy and i'm so excited for this book to come out and this book is coming out on may 1st and since this is a continuation of um you know the last book of a series i can't say much about it all i can say is i'm really excited about it and to tell you a little bit i'll tell you a little bit about ruin the first book so basically um the main character emelina she's on a mission to take down the other kingdom that that killed off her people there are only a few of the ruined left and she um while that happened they um they kidnapped her sister so um she wants to get her sister back and she wants to destroy them for what they did to her people and her family so um that's what the first book is about it's really good it's really fast paced it's um it's not that long and yeah so i have a review up for ruined and what was the second book i have a review for ruined and review up for ruined and avenged so you can find that on my blog wait what 2016.com as well now the fourth book on this list is another um conclusion to a series and that is war storm by victoria aviard and this book will be released on may 15th so first of all this book is being released all the other books I believe were released like in February, March. And this this is the final book and it um got a later release date than the other books in the series have gotten. So we had to wait a little longer for this conclusion novel. But I think it'll be worth the wait. Again, I can't really say much about this book because it is the last book of a series. But um I'm pretty sure a lot of you know what Red Queen is about. I've talked about it in other videos. And a lot of people on Booktube have talked about um, this series. Well, I'll um, try to explain it really quickly. So basically, in this um, futuristic world, um, our main character, Mare, she, um, and she lives in where she lives. The people are separated by blood. And um, there are the reds and the silvers. The silvers are the higher ups. They're the royalty they're um like the ugh, the fancy people um um the, the they are so they are the, the royalty and like the rich people and the people who like tell the reds what to do so basically um and they also have magical magical abilities the silvers okay so the reds they work for um they work for the silver and they um they are the, the they are pretty much the poor people of this society and basically one day mary finds herself in front of the king and she realizes that she has magical abilities but the things that she shouldn't because she's a red so that's the main premise of what the book is about this series um people are divided about the series and people really enjoy it some people really love it what that's the same thing <laughs> some people really love it and some people um don't so take your chance with it um read the first book i really enjoyed it um the second book last story i didn't like as much but then king's cage the third book it got better and i feel like this last book war storm is gonna is going to like raise the bar and i think it's gonna be amazing i really hope it is and i read one of the lines which her area posted one of the lines for war storm on her instagram i think it was and i i love the line it was so funny so I can't wait to actually read the whole book. And yes, so War Storm by Victoria Aviard. I also have reviews up for Red Queen, Glass Sword, and King's Cage all up on my blog. So check those out. So the last book on this list is actually, doesn't have a title yet, but it's the third book in the Three Dark Crowns series. Um, I think it was supposed to be like a duology first, but then it got extended. So I don't know how many books it's going to be. So yeah, there's that. But the third book is coming out this year. 
September 4th and I'm extremely excited for it because the way that the second book One Dark Throne ended I was just like what? So I can't wait to read this third book in this series. Um, so basically again since it's a series I can't say much about what the third book is for and I haven't read the synopsis for the third book anyway so whatever. Anyways the first book Three Dark Crowns is um is about these three sisters they're triplets and in their world um, they live in uh, in an island called Fenberg and basically um, every every century whatever <laughs> um, a, a set of triplets are born and they each possess a certain ability so there is Katarine who's a poisoner Arsino is a naturalist Mirabella is an elemental so they each have their own powers and the triplets they grow up to a certain point together but then they are separated and they are um raised by the people who possess the their power as well so basically what happens is that on their 16th birthday there is um an event where um basically only one can be the true queen so to decide who the true queen is um they had to fight to the death uh yeah basically yeah they had to fight to the death death to the death and that's how they decide who the true queen is so that's what the first book is about uh, and as well i have reviews of four, for three dark crowns and one dark throne up on my blog so yeah the top five books that i'm really excited for this year to be released um, please let me know in the comments what books you are looking forward to come out this year. And like always, uh, my social media links will be linked downstairs. And I will actually put a link to, um, that goes directly to a list of all of my reviews. So you could, so if you want to look up one of the reviews that I mentioned in this video, you could just go on there, um, scroll through the list, it's in alphabetical order, and click on the review you want to read. Um, so, again don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it um and and thank you so much to anyone um who has already subscribed we really appreciate it and we hope that you enjoy the videos we put out and hopefully soon i know i say this i've said this in a few videos but hopefully soon Carlani um will be posting and the new person that will be joining us in telling the books so hopefully that'll be coming soon so yeah and so i guess i'll catch you guys next time bye